here. Some of Bayern's star players, Thiago, Dante, Müller, Philipp Lahm, Douglas Costa, starting here with his traditional short passing exercise. Dante loses the first ball here, something he shouldn't do on the weekend. Dante might at least uh, feature in Bayern's uh, starting formation, considering the uh, injuries of uh, Mehdi Benatia and, of course, the uh, ban of uh, Jerome Boateng. Otherwise, uh, everyone is fit, everyone at least uh, that we expect to be fit. As you know, still a couple players uh, injured. Javi Martinez, uh, for instance, uh, already uh, ran around the pitch this morning. He's on a good track forward. As you can see, Thiago in full team training. Here he is. This is uh, Joshua Kimmich. Let's just enjoy these first few minutes here of the Bayern training session with pretty much everyone on board. In this group, Robert Lewandowski, Xavi Alonso actually filled in a defense as center back on the weekend. Lewandowski just turned 27, and scored two season goals already. Good start, very good start for Bayern Munich. They've won all of their competitive games in the season so far. That is if you exclude the German Super Cup defeat there against Wolfsburg, but Bayern Munich have the opportunity, of course, to make up for that and make up for it big time when they meet Wolfsburg in the next round, the second so-called main round of the DFB Cup. Here is Douglas Costa, great start to his spell in Munich, prepared the last minute winner by Robert Lewandowski on the weekend. is here in the center now Sven Ulreich played in the DFB Cup for Bayern Munich here's Costa in a duel with Philipp Lahm the former the captain of the German national team uh, interestingly announced uh, a few days ago that he will not be participating at the Olympic Games and you might ask yourself why would he the uh, Olympics uh, allow football teams uh, to be under uh, 23, but three players above that age are allowed to join in. So there were immediate rumors if uh, that wouldn't be an interesting uh, tournament or opportunity for Philip Lahm. He immediately said, I retired for a reason. I feel that the players who qualified for the Olympics should also be the ones that uh, play there. So I suppose that's good news for the Bayern fans. Lahm fully concentrated on Bayern Munich. And the other group with Arian Robben, Mario Götze, Piemi Hoiberg. Also Arturo Vidal, like Costa. A new signing who immediately integrated, who immediately took over an important role. Robin, good to see that he's been able to uh, cope with the first couple of uh, season games he played on the weekend again and is uh, back in training. That's always uh, good to see. Robert Lewandowski in the background, then Alonso. A couple of young players in training as well. Uh, Jerome Boateng just there, Juan Bernat. And here's Xabi Alonso versatile player who filled in for Jerome Boateng and Midi Benatia as center back on the weekend and helped Bayern Munich yeah, achieve stability at the back while the team predominantly worked its way up the pitch to score that late winner. Here are Dante and Rode. Dante, as I mentioned, was actually rumored 
and we all know how many rumors there are in this uh, summer break always all kinds of rumors all kinds of speculation but Dunder was interestingly enough rumored to join by Leverkusen down the weekend possibly he might play against Leverkusen as Bayern Munich's a sole defender in a back three or possibly with Dante or Rafinha in a back four we'll see about that Pep Guardiola I'm sure and his coaching staff are putting a lot of thought into uh, how to best play the top game on Saturday evening Make sure you don't miss that. 6.30 Central European time in the Allianz Arena. Kickoff against Leverkusen in Germany. Leverkusen, Bayern Munich's upcoming opponent and Bayern Munich's previous opponent, Hoffenheim, are regarded to be pretty similar in the way they play. They have both been dubbed the pressing monsters of the league. They are the teams that maybe attack earliest always and constantly attacking every person in possession it's going to be an interesting task for Alaba and all the others the Austrian accepted the blame for Kevin Folland's early lead for Hoffenheim on the weekend the earliest Apparently, and I think the official time of that goal has now been recorded at 9.3 seconds. It was an interesting, uh, a very interesting goal for a few reasons. Fastest goal in Bundesliga history after 9.3 seconds and a goal which came with the first touch of the ball of any Hoffenheim player. As you might recall Bayern Munich with the kickoff, pass back to Alonso. He passed the ball back to Alaba. Alaba tried to center the ball to Jerome Boateng who missed this uh, pass and Kevin Folland was the first Hoffenheim player in the entire game after 9.3 seconds to actually touch uh, the ball and with this first touch of any Hoffenheim player he scored the lead but Bayern fought back it's good to see and the players commented along those lines that this confidence is back the belief in the quality, the belief in the ability to turn games around. And Bayern did that very well on the weekend with 11 and then later with 10 men. Artur Vidal. Dubbed already the new aggressive leader at Bayern Munich. That is a term which I believe originates from uh, the times of uh, Stefan Effenberg, Oli Khan, when you had leaders, key figures on the pitch, players that were the yeah, alpha male, so to speak, in uh, football teams. And Vidal was at least known while he played in Leverkusen in the, his first Bundesliga spell to be a fairly uh, aggressive player. Statistically, he's actually fairly harmless. Very few uh, career cards. A lot of experience with Juventus uh, Turin, serial champion there. Same with Douglas Costa. So Bayern Munich not only bought experience, but also success this summer with those two summer signings. Thomas Müller. Scored on the weekend. Scored two in the first game of the Bundesliga season. The two men who are responsible for scoring goals for Bayern Munich, predominantly Thomas Müller and Robert Lewandowski, are on track again. Costa, here he is with a goal already. Even in these warm-up exercises, everyone fully concentrated. You can see Pep Guardiola and the assistant coaches all paying very close attention to what's going on. And while these exercises are certainly fun for the players, you can still see how involved they are. It's always interesting to see, on the one hand, 
how the players are enjoying themselves. On the other hand, how competitive these exercises are, how determined, how passionate the players are. Here's Müller and Kimmich running after that ball. Müller certainly a player who takes these exercises. I wouldn't say takes them easier than others, but Müller certainly want to comment on these exercises and constantly uh, talk. In the background, by the way, you can see loads and loads of uh, Bayern fans. It's the only public training session uh, of the week. Traditionally, uh, public training sessions mean lots of people come here. The training facilities in Munich are located within the uh, city limits. The uh, Bayern headquarters are within the city limits. And lots and lots of fans uh, come here. You can see it. Of course, the weather is fairly decent in Munich. Also, school holidays here in Bavaria. That always makes for a vast amount of people visiting. And they obviously appreciate the opportunity to get a first-hand look at the biggest stars in Bundesliga football. You can see here Arian Robin only a couple of yards away from the fans. Here's Thiago, of whom Pep Guardiola said he needs to be able to play 10, 11 games now without experiencing any injury problems whatsoever so that he's a full member of the squad again after his long injury break. The same will happen to Javi Martinez and Holger Badstuba from Ribéry also still out with an injury. Those players still missing, but the situation so much different from last season, which also explains a decision by the coaching staff uh, that caused a little bit of controversy here to uh, and not uh, include some of the youngsters, uh, Zinan Kurt, Julian Green, Gianluca Gaudino, uh, into the uh, training plan of the professionals anymore. But as you saw, there are a couple of youngsters here on the pitch. The more promising ones are the, the ones that already trained with the uh, first team now. Some tabloids have suggested uh, were demoted to the reserves. The fact of the matter is that Pep Guardiola, I think quite rightly, says he wants his promising young talents to play football, not to just train all week, but he wants them to play football, to uh, experience competitive football, and they're going to do that from now on in the reserve uh, team for Bayern Munich, fourth division football, and clearly the uh, Bayern reserve team coach Heiko Vogel and everyone else involved has stated that the goal for this season is to achieve promotion to the third division. season and came close and did a good job of becoming the first ever team in German football history to stay at the top of the league table for an entire year not so much a season but a year they had the chance when uh, this season started because they'd uh, of course been at the top of the table for the uh, entire second half of the last season so they had this chance of being table leaders throughout 2015 unfortunately Borussia Dortmund scored few more goals in the second game and now they're up by a goal and goal difference is, I believe 11 to 1 for Borussia Dortmund after three games for Bayern it's 10 to 1 that prevents uh, Pep Guardiola's team from being at the very top of the league table not that that's a reason to complain but it's a chance uh, an opportunity missed I suppose let's see what happens here Pep Guardiola kicks off and we are fortunate enough to watch a uh, little bit of a, a football game here for those of you uh, who are unfamiliar with this and let me just check and see if what I'm telling you is actually right usually the players in green when these exercises are played are free agents it's 
It's basically Team Blue against Team Red. So as you can see, this is a, an exercise in which, uh, well, there's no goals here. As you can see, it's basically red against uh, blue. The four uh, players in green are the free agents here. This is all about uh, winning possession and holding on to possession with uh, very little space. You'll notice when Team Blue plays, uh, the players in green double pass. Here you have it, Philip Lam in possession. He'll pass it out here. There you go, everyone in blue. As soon as there's a turnover, here's one. Uh, I'm not quite sure if that actually counts as a turnover. No. As soon as there's a turnover, you'll notice when the Team Red plays together, uh, Team Red will also play along with the players in green. And they are free agents. Here we go. Team uh, Red now in possession, if only for a short time. So now, this Lucas Scholl pass forward, and he uses the uh, green players. Pep Guardiola not uh, particularly happy with the intensity here, apparently, of this exercise. But it's another one of these exercises, uh, and that's so typical of Pep Guardiola. Usually the Bayern players are basically under stress when they are conducting any exercise here. Bit of an explanation to the youth players of exactly what Pep Guardiola expects uh, them to do. To give the players as little time as possible and to keep practicing this transitional game. Possession, regaining possession, win, lose, fight for it again, hold on to possession. That's uh, crucial in the modern game. And that's the basis for a lot of uh, different exercises that we see here at Siebener Street. It's a great exercise, of course, for the goalkeepers as well, who practice their passing game under pressure. This is certainly an exercise Manuel Neuer would conduct with the team if he was here. But certainly something that Ben Sven Ulreich will benefit from as well. We expect to see uh, him uh, tomorrow. There's a test game that Bayern Munich uh, play at 7 o'clock uh, against Regensburg. Highlights on FCB TV match report on the Bayern website later on in the evening. And that'll be interesting in the absence of uh, Bayern's first team, but a great opportunity again for these uh, young players here to play a game under professional circumstances and, of course, also an opportunity to show Pep Guardiola how skillful they are.
Beautiful piece of skill there by Xabi Alonso. Great to see in this entire training session how involved and motivated players like Xabi Alonso and Philipp Lahm and Sebastian Rode as well, despite the fact that they're training with all of these youth players. And that uh, case in, in the case of Alonso and Lam, you're talking about Champions League winners, multiple championship winners uh, in Alonso's case. Champions League winner, of course, uh, with the various clubs as well. World champion, European champion, still every day. Passion and dedication in training, Sebastian Rode as well. Fantastic uh, training ethic, this uh, young player. Also a uh, robust uh, physique, uh, hardly any injuries uh, whatsoever. Now, Pep Guardiola obviously happy with this exercise. There's a lot of bravo and calls very good. Talking to his assistant there, uh, fitness coach Lorenzo Buenaventura. Talk about dedication. He lives just across the road to be as close as possible. This is Dominic Torrent. And not in our picture now is uh, Hermann Gellan, but he's somewhere here, and he'll be uh, one of those people who are extremely helpful for uh, Pep Guardiola now. Great expert of Bayern Munich's uh, youth. There he is. He's uh, responsible for all those Schweinsteigers and Lahms and Müllers and Alabas and he knows a lot about the youth and he knows how to shape youth players so he will have had uh, quite an influence on the selection of youth players uh, here in uh, Bayern's training squad for the Upcoming uh, week or so. I can tell you from uh, the under 19s, uh, Niklas Tanat's playing here, Valentin Micheli, the captain, Marcel Leib and Nicola de la Schiava. We have uh, seven or eight players from the reserves teams. Here's Lukas Scholl, Daniel Hegler, Yannick Günzel, Herbert Paul, just to name a few. Zinan Kurt, of course, uh, is there. Lam now part of Team Red, so the roles on the pitch are constantly changing too. So Alonso's back in green as is Rode, those are the two field players, and then Tom Starke and Sven Ulreich on either side of the pitch to keep the ball in play. All of this looks uh, so fun and easy, but if you've ever played uh, or trained in a football club, I'm sure you will have we conducted similar exercises in the past, probably not as uh, quickly and not as uh, ferociously as uh, the Bayern players are showing in some scene here, but it's a, a tough exercise because there's no real, literally no goal.
Guardiola and his coaching staff have proved uh, very uh, happy so far with what's been going on. So here we go. You can see there are several uh, teams here, a blue team, a, a red team, and a uh, gray team. Let's see uh, if we can figure out what's exactly going on here. The reason why there are three teams, for instance, let's start uh, here, is that, of course, you can't have uh, players sprint across the pitch for the full 90 minutes, otherwise they'll need a week of break here. So the players now, for instance, Team Red has a minute or so to relax while Team Grey plays against Team Blue. Now Team Grey has to sprint across the entire pitch, try to get the ball off uh, Team Red. And as soon as they do that, here we go. No, not quite yet. Team Red still in the possession. Now Team Red will have to sprint over to the left side here and try to get the ball off Team Blue. As soon as they do that, Team Blue will be uh, punished and will have to sprint back and try to regain possession again. The green players, don't be confused by them. Those are so-called uh, free agents uh, here on the pitch. They help whoever is in uh, possession. So, again, a little bit of a break here for Team Blue as... Two of the Team Grey players try to get uh, the ball off the red team. Here at Bayern Munich, since Pep Guardiola joined uh, the team, this uh, exercise that everyone knows, uh, four or five players against two in the center, has been called Rondo. So this is something like uh, the Rondo of the 21st uh, century, a uh, very sophisticated and full team Rondo taking uh, place for the Bayern players, who I'm sure will feel this exercise in their legs if this keeps going on for a while. You can probably hear some of the fans call out the uh, player names in the background. It is really a, a great opportunity uh, here for the fans to come close to these Bayern stars. An opportunity that, of course, fans in Munich enjoy on a regular basis. Somewhere between one and two uh, public training sessions, usually uh, during a week. That is a non-Champions League week, of course. It's uh, part of Bayern Munich's policy to be close to the fans, to be a public club, to not restrict uh, access too much. And again, in case you're missing the uh, really exciting, the uh, in-depth, nitty-gritty tactical exercises, I have to disappoint you. Those exercises are reserved for the non-public uh, training sessions. Uh, Pep Guardiola, of course, wants to keep that uh, behind uh, closed doors. What we're going to see is uh, a lot of uh, physical uh, exercises uh, here today. Part two of uh, this sprint and uh, fighting for possession exercise about to commence.
So I suppose there's a second element to this exercise. The two teams um, to the left and the right actually play along with each other. Here you can see that as well. It's not probably going to work now. It might, it might work. So the red team holding on to possession, holds on to possession for a while and then tries to chip that ball across the center towards the team that which is now blue. Here's a good example, at least the attempt of it. Yep, good job uh, there. And Team Gray still has to hold on to possession. Finally, Team Gray won it now, which means Team Blue <laughs> has to go into the center. It's interesting uh, from uh, a fan and uh, also from my point of view here is something new every day in these exercises and that's uh, one of the reasons why Pep Guardiola is so popular with the players here it's uh, important and uh, many football coaches of course say that uh, that nowadays you really need to get the players on board and uh, football professionals who do nothing but train uh, all their life can of course get bored easily when they um, play the same exercise all the time. Maybe uh, bored is the wrong word uh, to describe it, but uh, they settle in too comfortably in exercises that they know well, which is why you just want to keep a little bit of an edge uh, on these uh, training sessions by presenting them with something new, and Pep Guardiola is certainly a master uh, of that. Perfect example of how to execute uh, a pass from there, although the stop wasn't very good. But Team Gray is in possession now. Let's see if we can get a good uh, series going here. Uh, Team Gray loses the ball. Oh, a little, uh, angry with himself. Team Gray now has to return to the center. I hope you can hear the uh, reaction by the uh, players. There's a lot of uh, shouting going on. There's a lot of uh, yeah, competitiveness, of course, uh, in these exercises. And that's exactly what the coaches want. Here's that uh, chip. <laughs> if you uh, have been following this uh, training camp on uh, our various uh, social media channels on FTB uh, TV or in the news programs uh, I'm sure you would have realized this is not an exception there is a uh, high sense and of course there has to be a high sense and a high degree of motivation among the players who are really enjoying themselves while working hard you can uh, see it in the way they move after these training sessions that they are exhausted and fatigued and here again a shot across the uh, entire pitch uh, and encouraging words now Olga Badstuba uh, extremely angry with uh, the fact that his team uh, failed uh, to um, hold on to possession there as team blue are again punished and in the center team red going to pass that ball along and here we go a little chip over team red and a round of applause by the players as I mentioned this is how you uh, keep these uh, superstars uh, on point on the ball some new exercises I have to admit I haven't seen this one before in the Bayern training but that doesn't necessarily mean it's the first time they've played it this way and now team red lost possession lost the ball and recovered immediately team blue back into the center
couple of youth players just now uh, on your screen. Let's go uh, through them again briefly. Niklas uh, Dosh is uh, here. Seventeen years old, holding midfielder, who plays for the reserve team of Bayern Munich with a professional contract till 2018. Again, Marco Friedel, also uh, 17 years old, a left back who's uh, still playing the under for the under 23s Bayern of the uh, Bayern reserves uh, training with uh, the pro team today, and another four players from the under 19s. The players. Uh, We'll talk about uh, one or two as we uh, go along, and I'll uh, point out those uh, who, let's say, are a little closer to the pro team than others. That would be Zinan Kurt, for instance. Uh, also, uh, Lukas Scholl, of course, son of uh, Mehmet Scholl, who already uh, featured in uh, training quite a few times for the uh, pro team. This is this famous uh, uh, exercise five against two or rondo as it's called now in uh, Munich since the arrival of the Spanish coach and his assistants and it'll be interesting to see how well these young players do. Usually we have uh, the masterful skills of uh, Thiago, Robin, Alonso, Rafinha and so on. Let's see how these uh, young lads fare here in front of the watchful eyes of Pep Guardiola and his assistants. So this is the aforementioned uh, group with Sinan Kurt, Philipp Lahm, Xabi Alonso, Sebastian Rode, Sven Ulreich, Tom Starke, Lukas Scholl. All of the remaining professionals uh, in this group here. Let me see how uh, much faster this ball is played. Pouring down rain in Munich. Yesterday we had somewhere around 1,500 fans at the public training session. A lot less today for understandable reasons. And even if it's the last public training session, we assume uh, in a while, the weather and the absence, of course, of most star players has uh, deterred most fans from coming, but there's still, as you can see, <laughs> plenty of reason to visit Zebna Street on a training day. The kids uh, can take uh, pictures with uh, Bernie. The uh, star players here usually take their time to uh, pose for photos with the fans, to sign uh, autographs. Even though, of course, today might be a little more difficult with only three or four real famous uh, options uh, on the pitch but uh, usually always uh, worth uh, a visit here. The training facilities at Munich Siebener Street and particularly, of course, in holidays. Lots and lots of fans visit the Siebener Street. You can see in the background uh, Leo Weinkauf, uh, under-19s goalkeeper training with Tony Tapalovic. 
while the two goalkeepers practice here in the uh, yeah, rondo exercise, the uh, passing exercise. In the background you can see the Youth Academy of Bayern Munich there, by the way, with a player looking out of the window. And like other, and all the others, the Youth Academy hoping and praying one day they'll have the opportunity to play for this uh, Bayern team. Several of these youth players, Sinan Kurt, uh, for instance, and Lukas Scholl, as I mentioned earlier, have been training with the pro team for uh, months now. And it was recently decided that Kurt, Julian Green and uh, Gianluca Gaudino return. This is Lukas Scholl, that they uh, should return. Here's Sinan Kurt at the center and train with the uh, reserve team a little more to gain a little more match practice on a yeah, professional or semi-professional uh, level uh, Bayern Munich's uh, reserve team playing in the fourth division express goal is to achieve promotion and play in the uh, third division it's the highest uh, league uh, any reserve team can play in in Germany the rule is that there has to be one division between the uh, pro and uh, amateur team Finally, the two uh, top teams in Munich, Bayern and 1860, both in the fourth division. Those are the only derbies the Munich fans get to see. Little uh, switch of uh, a place here so that the uh, grass, uh, the pitch isn't put under too much uh, strain. Here is Bayern captain Philipp Lahm. Seems as if Lam might return to uh, playing a, a few more games on the uh, fullback position this season with Bayern Munich's long list of very gifted midfield players and pretty short list of gifted fullbacks. Lam's qualities possibly uh, at least needed a little more often on the uh, wings in defense than in holding midfield. Or on the wing, of course, uh, you probably heard and read all about it. Philip Lam actually played, particularly now in the preseason, a couple of games on the uh, right wing, basically in the Aryan Robin position. And he, uh, funnily enough, commented uh, on uh, his performances, uh, which were actually very good. And he said, just wait uh, for me to pull into the center and do my Aryan Robin left footed rocket on goal. Robin has to be real careful from now on. That was, uh, of course, a joke, and I don't expect to see Philipp Lahm on the uh, wing very often this season, particularly now that Bayern have bought so two potential candidates uh, for those positions, uh, Douglas Costa and now most recently Kingsley Komen, both of which are obviously not in Munich. It's a big uh, weekend for the national teams. Manuel Neuer, Jerome Boateng, Mario Götze and uh, Thomas Müller are going to play uh, two European Championship qualification matches uh, Friday. Germany welcome Poland to uh, the stadium in Frankfurt. Interestingly enough, Poland is table leader in the uh, German qualification group. So with a win, and that is the express goal. Neuer, Boateng, Götze, Müller and all the other German internationals can take over the table lead and take it away from their Bayern colleague, Robert Lewandowski. Poland playing Germany first and then uh, next Monday home game for Poland in Warsaw against uh, Gibraltar. That should be an easy three-pointer there. David Alaba playing with uh, Austria. Fantastic qualification uh, so far and his uh, comeback his return to the Austrian national team was the topic of the country in uh, Austria. He is the star player there, David Alaba. And the Austrian national team doing really well. Five games, sorry, six games, five wins and a draw, 16 points. They play Moldova, the table last team in their group. On Saturday, and then uh, play Sweden, the table second team. So important games for David Alaba, Arian Robin.
play uh, Iceland. Uh, Aaron Robin and his Dutch team play Iceland and uh, Turkey. These qualification matches extremely important. Holland with a bad start to the qualification needs to win both games. Better situation for Juan Bernat and his Spanish team, which is on uh, second place behind uh, Slovakia in their qualification group. The non-European foreigners with test games, Douglas Costa uh, is traveling for uh, Brazil. It's a little uh, US tour. Uh, in two days, uh, Brazil play Costa Rica in Harrison, and then they play against the US in Foxborough three days later. So uh, that's actually the last, those are the last two test games Brazil play before their World Cup qualification begins in October. And the same goes for Arturo Vidal. He plays Paraguay with uh, Chile on uh, September 5th. Joshua Kimmich. Also traveling with the German under-21s. Test match against uh, Denmark. And then a qualification game for the under-21s European Championship against Azerbaijan and then Kingsley Korman the most recent addition to Bayern Munich's uh, squad he uh, plays with France's under 21s against the under 21s of Iceland and then a test match against Brazil's under 21 so the traveling Bayern players with uh, two games each pretty much with uh, the exception I think of Arturo Vidal not uh, a good opportunity for Pep Guardiola to uh, practice with his new team, but again, we only have a few new signings at Bayern Munich. Uh, therefore, integration of the new players should uh, not be too difficult. Most of the Bayern pros have, of course, played pre-season together extensively. Here, Xabi Alonso, the football experts in Germany, hailed his performance as a uh, special one on the weekend where he played, yeah, some kind of a mixed uh, positional game, somewhere between centre back and holding midfielder. Centre back when uh, uh, Leverkusen, Bayern's Saturday opponent, was in possession, holding midfielder basically. To 